y'all welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Audrey and today I have for y'all another Shein haul so a huge thank you to Shein for sending these items to me and as always there will be a coupon code down in the description box below along with my measurements and all the sizes that I got so if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know when I upload a new video and let's go ahead and get started Before we get started, if y'all don't follow me on Instagram or if in case you missed my post on my community page here, so my fella and I are getting married. <laughs> so, so he asked me and I said yes and we're just going to plan something very small, very sweet and simple, but I wanted to let y'all know because y'all have kind of watched us throughout this whole process, but I am just so excited and so blessed and I am just so ready so so you'll hear more about that I'm sure later on but I just wanted to let y'all know that he asked and I said yes so for the first look in this haul I have a black turtleneck more of a mock neck bodysuit I normally don't wear these a whole lot because I don't like anything too tight around my neck but this one is perfect but before we talk about that I'm going to show you the pants up close because that's what I like to do. Now these pants, I'll tell you, they're not my favorite um, just because they're very, very thin. Now I do have another pair of pants in this haul that are absolutely amazing and I want them in every color. <laughs> I actually have the black ones coming after trying on the green ones. Y'all, they are beautiful, but these are very, very pretty too, but they're just really thin. So I went with the 4XL in these and they are 100% polyester. So they are just your pull-on pants. I don't think that I knew that. I thought they were just your traditional trouser, but they do have pockets. They have pleats in the front with belt loops here, and you have an elastic band that is all throughout the whole back waist part. But I mean, they're, again, they're very pretty. They're a pretty camel color, but they are very, very thin. They are a wide leg, but again, there's not a whole lot to this material, not see-through. You can see what I mean. It's just a very thin fabric, but they pull on really well and they fit beautifully. But if you don't like that really kind of a cold, silky pair of pants, these might not be the ones for you. So here are those pants with the black turtleneck bodysuit. Again, this is a black ribbed knit. I'm going to show you that up close. I'm sorry, I picked up some lint. I usually, I try to roll these, you know, to get everything off of them, but it just comes right back. But this is the rib knit. So the good thing about this one is the neck, you have plenty of room in. As you can see, it doesn't suck to my neck really tight. You know how a lot of them do. I cannot wear those. I grew up wearing those. My grandma thought you had to have a turtleneck with everything. But, but they would be so tight and I couldn't stand it. But this one is very, very comfortable. The neck of it just kind of lays there. Perfect fit. Again, I went with the 4XL in this bodysuit. I normally do go with a 4XL in Shein's bodysuits just because sometimes they pull a little bit too much or the cut is a little bit too high here. This one is a very good fit. It comes down to here. So very generous length in this one. The fit is perfect very very comfortable but i would not have sized down in this i love the fit of this very comfortable now again the pants you just pull them on they have elastic in the back the rise right here is not very high so i love anything high-waisted but again they're very very pretty and very comfortable you have that wide leg with these stretchy you've got plenty of room but they do hug just a little bit right here and i think that's because they're a little bit lower of a rise so I'm gonna pair this with my black cuckoo. I love saying that name, <laughs> I love cuckoo. But I'm gonna pair it with these black cuckoo pointy-toed flats. I've worn these quite a few times to work. I did clean them up a little bit just, to, just for here. So they're very, very comfortable, very squishy, and I love these because they just bend and stretch to your foot. I do have a wider foot and these are perfect for me. So I'm gonna put these on and we'll look at the whole, the whole look. So, here is the front, and I have on my little flats from Cuckoo. So here is the front and the back. So 
So if those camel colored pants were not really your thing with this mock neck bodysuit, I also have a pencil skirt. I had a few people ask me about Shein's pencil skirts, so I went ahead and put two of them in this haul just to kind of try them out because I have had a couple of them but and they were fine, but I really didn't pay much attention at the time. So now that I know that some of y'all are interested in them, I really wanted to show them a little bit more. So for this one, I have, it's a rib knit. So for this one, I went with the 4XL and it is a polyester spandex mix. So very stretchy and I'm gonna show you the fabric up close before I put it on. It is also a rib knit texture, but it's just a tighter weave. So you have those really, really small ribs in there. Stretchy elastic waist here. And then you do have a little split right up the back. So not too high. I have seen some on Shein's site where that split is way up there. <laughs> but this one thankfully is a more modest split. So I'm going to pair this with a hot pink coat in just a second, but I'm going to put this on and let you see how it looks. So now that I have that on, I did I want to add a little bit of different pieces to this look. So I'm going to add a jacket in just a second, but I wanted to add that gold leaf belt that I showed y'all. I actually have shown y'all this one since my very first video and I believe I added it to my last Shein haul and a lot of you loved it and thankfully it is still available so it will be linked down below too. But I just thought I would break up that black just a little bit. So here is that bodysuit. It is tucked into the skirt. So the skirt is here if you can see. And again I went with the 4XL in both pieces and they are perfect. The skirt is a pencil skirt, so it is gonna hug a little bit here, but I do not care because I love the silhouette of this. Now, full disclosure, I do have on one of the Shape LLX shapers here, just because it does hug a good bit here, and I just didn't want it to mess up the overall look, but y'all know that I carry my weight in my lower belly. We all know that. <laughs> but I just wanted to get that really pretty fit, so I do have that on, and I will link that down below too. I do have a video showing that shapewear, so if you're interested in that, I'll add it somewhere in here. But I just wanted to kind of smooth things out just a little bit because pencil skirts, especially rib knit like this, they do hug in certain areas. So you may want to wear some shapewear underneath your pencil skirt if that bothers you. But I do love the gold belt with this. I did keep those little black flats on with this because you can mix and match however you want to. Just like our styling video that we just did, you can add anything you want to to change the whole feel of a look. So I love this so much. It's such a classic silhouette and just beautiful, and you can never go wrong with all black. So here is the front and the back. Now the last piece that we're going to add to this little look that we've been building is this hot pink coat. It is the cutest thing ever. It is true hot pink. And I went with the 3XL in this one and it is polyester elastane mix. So again, just like a lot of their coats, it feels like a heavy felt. Very, very comfortable to wear. It's not itchy at all. I just want to show you, that's the back of it. Here is the Front, and it does come with a removable belt that matches and you've got that little bit of a puff on the sleeve here and a collar. Now here is the inside because a lot of y'all ask me if something's lined or if it's not. So it's not lined. You can see right in here, but at least the seams and everything are finished. Early Shein days, you would just get that raw edge and everything. Trust me, because I was buying from Shein when they first started and then I stopped for a few years because you would just have strings everywhere. So I do love that it has finished seams. Everything is, is perfect. It is not lined, but you really don't need it to be lined with this kind of fabric in my opinion. You do have that little flap in the back just to, just to complete that collar. But I'm gonna put this on and I'll be right back. And here is that look and again, there are no belt loops in this, so at least you don't have those sticking out right here. But you could just put this right around your waist, kind of tuck that under, and then tie it however you want to, just to give it kind of a complete look and keep you warm. 
But y'all, I love this. I think it is so pretty. I like it closed, but I also like it open too because then you can see your belt if, if you go with a gold belt. But I just like that little pop right there and it just gives you a really pretty, it just kind of hugs your figure real pretty. I love the plain black with this pop of hot pink. I just think it's beautiful. So here is the front and the back. So we're not quite ready <laughs> to move on from this outfit. So I have another coat that I wanna show y'all and I'm gonna pair it with that same black pencil skirt and black bodysuit and gold belt. So y'all know how I feel about houndstooth. I love houndstooth. I think it is beautiful, especially for this time of year. So I kind of branched out a little bit cause I normally don't do really long coats. They just, I don't know. I think they kind of swallow me whole in a way, but when I saw this one, it's houndstooth. I had to get it and y'all, it is beautiful. So it is the 4XL and it is polyester spandex mix. Y'all look at this coat. It is beautiful. It's just that classic black and white houndstooth. I'm going to show y'all the inside. Again, it does have the finished seams, but it is not lined. And here it is on, again, 4XL in all of these pieces in the bodysuit, the skirt, and this coat. Y'all, I love the hot pink and I love this one. I think it is beautiful and it just adds just a little bit of something to it. You could pair this with some heels if you didn't want to do the flats. Anything you want to do with this, pair it with some wide leg black pants gorgeous. <laughs> so, Y'all, I'm very happy with this. I think it is beautiful, beautiful. It feels like the same as the hot pink, just not quite as heavy, but it does have that felt, that really soft feel to it. I love this. I just think it's beautiful. And again, it may not be for everybody, but y'all, you can't say that this does not make a little statement. <laughs> so here is the front. And the back. And now for the other pencil skirt that I mentioned just a little bit ago. So this one is the black and white grid pattern. Now I've seen this one on Shein forever and it's got really good reviews, but I will say it is on the thin side, not see-through, but it doesn't really compress or hold you in very well. The black ribbed one really did. I really like that one. So this one I went with the 4XL and it's a polyester spandex mix. Now I'm going to show you this fabric up close just so you can see if it stretches too far you can see the white that is the underneath. So we have talked about that on this channel several times <laughs> and that's one of my pet peeves. But thankfully, this is a little bit bigger for a 4XL, and there's so much stretch in it, it really doesn't pull enough to where you'll be able to do that. But if you size down in this, knowing that you want it to be really fitted, it may pull to the point where it shows almost a whitish gray hint where it's black. So just keep that in mind. You may This one might be one you want to skip if you want it to be that thicker, hold you in, really fitted skirt because it's going to pull and it's going to go gray on you. So I'm going to pair this with this really pretty sweater. Now I'll tell you, I do have on that, like I said, I have on that Shape LLX, the little bodysuit that's black and you could kind of see the black through this. So I put on a little, <laughs> as you can see, this is the black shapewear. So I put on a white tank top thinking that it wouldn't show through as much, but now you can see the white one. So you know how this is. So this this sweater is a little bit more on the thin side. Earlier I had it on with a nude bra and you could still kind of see. It's not sheer, but you can kind of see anything through it that's not this color. So with that pencil skirt, I have on this mustard yellow sweater that we just talked about. And it is a polyester nylon viscose mix, but it's very, very soft. But again, a little bit on the thin side, just to show you where you can, you can see the little grid pattern through it here. That's what I was trying to kind of avoid with the black up here. But just to give you an idea, you can't see straight through it, but you can see anything darker underneath. But I guess that's to be expected with a lighter color. But this sweater is so pretty. It is your more of a v-neck here, and then you've got the long sleeves 
with the banding here that causes a little bit of a pleating. Now, this one, I don't think it went above a 2XL. It might have gone to a 3XL, but the measurements I went with the 2. It is a little bit more on the snug side, just being honest. But I'm glad I didn't go with the 3XL because I think it would have been a little too big. But I do love the fit of this. I think it is so pretty and it is so soft on your skin. The sleeves are the perfect length. They don't hang down over my arm. And I love them with this. And I did pair this with some little stack heels that I got off Poshmark a couple years ago. They might be $5. <laughs> I love getting shoes off Poshmark, y'all, because they are so cheap and you can get some brand new shoes that maybe the person just didn't like. But these, I don't even know what brand these are, but they are perfect because I don't wear heels, but I can do a stacked heel. I just need a little bit more support than that little tiny little stick that people walk on. But I love this overall look. I think it's so pretty. Again, this pencil skirt does not hold you in, doesn't smooth anything out. There's just a few little misses with this one. I love the black rib knit one. This one, I think just the material might not be the best. So here is the front and the back. So before we talk about this top, which is quite the conversation piece, I love it. I, it may not be for everybody, but I absolutely love this shirt. So we're going to talk about those pants that I mentioned earlier that I think are just amazing. These green pants, y'all, if y'all follow me on Instagram, you've already seen them because I could not wait to post the pictures of these because they are, y'all, these are the best made best constructed pants that I think I have ever gotten and I have some from Lane Bryant and a few other places these are the heaviest trousers I have ever owned and they are absolutely beautiful y'all I think they come in black khaki and this green get them all you are going to need them in your life I've already ordered the black ones they should be here probably in about a week or two so I went with the 4xl with these and they are elastane polyester mix y'all let me show y'all these so they have the zip up here then you have that little that little bar hook here and then the button closure on the inside so you have pockets belt loops if you need them they don't come with a belt so you could wear really put anything with it more of a skinny belt because they're kind of small flat front wide leg y'all look at the leg on these now these are pretty long but if you pair them with some heels i'm gonna pair them with those black stacked heels that i just showed y'all that i got from poshmark and y'all you have to at least feel these pants get them try them on when i put them on i was shocked they are so heavy and so well made they're just gorgeous now i did not iron these i decided to steam them because i did not want to take the chance of scorching them or messing them up at all so i steamed them the wrinkles came right out y'all look at the inside so they're not lined a lot of really nice trouser pants will have that satin line and these don't have that which i prefer that i don't like the satin in mine but you do have all of your finished hems here but y'all absolutely beautiful the back you have the photo just the fake pockets back here these look like you would spend probably $80 or so. I mean, Lane Bryant, that's their prices for their pants. That's what you would expect to pay for pants that feel like these. They are absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna put these on and then we'll talk about the whole look. And here is the look with the top and these pants. Y'all, these, these pants are gorgeous. They have the pockets, perfect fit. Again, I went with the 4XL in these. I could not have asked for a more perfect fit. The way that they hug your body, but you still have a little bit of wiggle room in here. The feel of this fabric, again, they're very heavyweight, but y'all, they are absolutely beautiful. And I'll put my shoes on in just a second, but we're gonna talk about this shirt because it was the very first thing that I added to my cart. It was, it was on my wish list to begin with because when I saw this, I had to have it again. Not for everybody, and I get that, but y'all, I am obsessed with anything with a big bow or a big collar. Remember when Sarah Jessica Parker in Sex and the City, she would wear the big flowers? 
That is everything to me. I love more of an exaggerated collar, just big something on one side. I think that is beautiful. So when I saw this, had that big necktie. It's made into the collar. Now this one is 100% polyester. I went with the 3XL and I love the fit of this. So you have more of a mandarin collar here that comes into this long tie. It is huge. So you can make that bow as big as you want it to be. Do whatever you want to. <laughs> I love this and y'all know that I love to have pieces hanging down right here. I just think that is beautiful. So pure traditional blouse, it's just a pull on blouse and it does have one of those little buttons with the strings in the back. I don't even care about that right now because I love this top so much. Y'all know I normally hate those, but this is just beautiful. And I'm gonna show you the pattern. So you've got like a patchwork polka dot. It's got the green and the black, white, red, blue, everything is just thrown at it, but in a way that I think is so pretty. And you have your banded wrist here and a little button closure. I love this. <laughs> I think it's gorgeous. Now, it's not the longest. I'm going to show it to you untucked. Then I'll tuck it back in and put my shoes on. But a lot of y'all want to know how long something is. So this is kind of a traditional length of a blouse. So it does come pretty far. But when you go to tuck it in, it just doesn't give you a whole lot of room for it not to come untucked. So just keep that in mind. Right here on the sides, it does kind of go up a little bit. But the length of this is perfect. It's a little bit more snug right around in here, but I've talked about that before on here. I do carry weight here, so for it to fit up here, it's gonna be a little bit tighter right around the bottom of my waist. But that's fine because I'm just gonna tuck it in anyway. Now I have that tucked back in again. I've got on my black stacked heels, and here is the entire look. This is gorgeous. I love this whole look. The pants, again, are more of a wide leg trouser, but they are pretty long. Now, I am 5'6", and I do have on that stacked heel, as you can see, and they still kind of graze the ground. So, if you're a little bit more on the shorter side, you may have to plan to get these hemmed or wear a pretty tall heel with this. But I love the overall look of this. The colors together are beautiful, and I am so happy with this because this blouse is just everything to me. So, here is the front and the back. So, if the blouse that I just showed y'all wasn't your thing with these green pants, then maybe this sweater will be. <laughs> I know it was kind of a hit on my Instagram. Everybody loved the colors together. And for this one, I went with the 3XL and it's a nylon polyester viscose mix. Now I'll tell you, I normally would not get a sweater that's more on the crop side. It's not a crop top, but it is shorter than what I normally like. But I knew that I was gonna, well, at least I hoped to pair it with these pants. And here are the pants. They are a higher rise. So I knew that I could kind of get away with wearing a little bit shorter of a sweater, but y'all, the ruffles. I just talked about how much I love just big pieces of a top, and these, y'all, the ruffles on this. Let me just show y'all. And this is the softest sweater ever. Again, I think it's that viscose, y'all. I love viscose, y'all know that. But you've got your regular crew neck, and then you've got these two beautiful ruffles in a V-shape down the front. Long sleeves, perfect length on these sleeves. Again, a little bit more of a cropped fit here. You could always put this with a high-waisted A-line flare skirt and be good to go if you don't wanna wear pants with it. This is just the prettiest sweater ever and the color, gorgeous. So I did pair it with those green pants that I just showed y'all and I still have on those black stacked heels I love the color scheme of this. I think it is beautiful. And you cannot get more fall than green. Green is absolutely gorgeous, especially when you have two different tones of one shade. I think it's beautiful. And again, y'all, the ruffles on this. And I don't mind that it's a little bit shorter because I just think it's beautiful. I fell in love with this. And then when the pants worked out, I had to pair it with this together. That was my original idea. And I'm so glad that it worked out because I think that this is just beautiful. 
So, here is the front and back. And now on to the dresses. So for this one, I went with the 3XL and it's a polyester elastane mix and it is more of a shirt dress. We're gonna talk about this belt in just a second, but it's more of a shirt dress. So you just pull it on almost like a coat and then you button it all the way down the front. So as you can see, you have a lot of fabric in this one. It's very, very flowy, but there's a little bit of some size issues. So not until after I ordered this one did I read some new reviews on there about it. I just like to go back and kind of see if there's new reviews because when I ordered it, there were not any. So I kind of just winged it and ordered what I normally would. <laughs> and all these reviews popped up about how big this dress was. So honestly, y'all, I could have gone with probably a 2X, definitely a 2XL, maybe even a 1 because look at the sleeves on this dress. It, they're huge. And when I put my arms down, they hang over my arms. This part here, the button, the first button is not until here. So this whole part right here is open and I have this belt pulled as tight as I can. So this belt is definitely a no, but let me just show you how long, so I'm just gonna show you how long this is. I mean, look at look at the length of this belt. And the metal part is just, it just bends. It's this little, let me just show y'all. It's this little, look at that. It just bends. I mean, it doesn't hold anything, so this belt can just get thrown away. It's just, it's about two sizes too big for the size that you're ordering. I could easily pin this. I think if I pin this here, put on a different belt with it and did something with the sleeves, I think it could be perfect, but I shouldn't have to do all those things to make this work. So I'm really disappointed in this dress, just being completely honest, because it has potential, but it's just not there. And I, I just, I'm a little bit disappointed because I love a shirt dress and they're very hard to find where you have enough fabric here to give it flow. They're usually a little bit too tight at the bottom. So that's why I usually avoid a shirt dress because you don't want those buttons pulling and all of that. So from here down, they got it right. But from here up, there's just problems. I mean, it's cut way too low. I mean, this is where the first button starts. Like that, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That's just, that's kind of strange to me. And the sleeves are just massive. So again, I think with a few tweaks, and you know what, I'm gonna put on a different belt with this. I'm gonna pin it here, and I'm gonna figure something out with these sleeves, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this pin in place. <laughs> I put on a hot pink belt. I'll try to find this one and link it down below. I got it quite some time ago, but I'll try to find it for you. It is from Shein. And I rolled up my sleeves as best as I can, but there is a lot of fabric in these sleeves. And I paired it with those same stacked heels. So just a few minor little adjustments and fixes, and I think that this was salvageable. But again, definitely go a size down in this dress if you like it. But I do think it's pretty, just a little pop of pink here. Fix this little part here and roll up those sleeves, and I think you would be good to go. I love the flow of this skirt. Like I said, I think it's gorgeous. So you may have to make a few tweaks to some pieces, but sometimes it's worth it. So I love the silhouette of this. It's a fun black dress and I just love that pop of pink. So here is the front and the back. And now the next dress, y'all, I did not know I had this much green stuff in this haul, but I'm glad I do because I love it. So this dress was a suggestion from one of y'all. So one of my little Instagram buddies reached out to me and she had this dress on and sent me a picture of it and she was gorgeous. So I had to copycat her and I got it. So thank you. But I love this dress. At first I was like, ooh, that's a lot of fabric. It's a lot, but... Y'all, the picture of her in this dress was beautiful, so I wanted to feel as pretty as she did. I do have buttons from here to here, 
and a little bit of a ruffle on that, more of a mandarin collar. You have long sleeves and they have elastic right here at the wrist, not too tight, not too loose, so it holds its shape. But y'all, look at the fabric. So it's that textured fabric. You've got those really pretty flowers all over it, but the feel of this, it feels really rich. It's very, very pretty. I hope you can see the texture of this. Beautiful. Here's that collar with that little ruffle right here. You do have belt loops right here on the side, and it does come with a matching sash belt. Now, one of the little tweaks that I'm going to make with this is I'm going to switch this belt out with our Amazon belt. And now I have our Amazon belt on with this, and I have paired this look with my little cuckoo wedges. I will try to find these and link these down below if they're still available because they are so comfortable. But I love kind of the boho vibe of this. And again, I am 5'6", and this one hits right at my lower calf, so it is more of a midi rather than a maxi. And I just love the flow of this dress. I love the fabric. It feels so good and just the colors and the pattern the flowers it is beautiful especially for this time of year so a huge thank you for the suggestion because it is beautiful so here is the front and the back And now for the last piece in this haul, y'all, I had this dress on my wish list forever and it sold out and then I finally got it again and it is everything I had hoped that it was. Y'all, it is hunter green and leopard print. Beautiful. So I will tell you this one runs a little bit small, so I'm glad I went up one to the 4XL. The 4XL is the perfect fit for me. And again, all of my measurements are going to be linked down in the description box down below. The material on this is very comfortable. It's polyester elastane, so it's a very nice, almost a waffled texture. I don't know if you can see that. It has that little bit of a texture to it. Very soft on your skin. It has functioning buttons from here to here, and then you have your belt loops this belt which the belt is a little bit problematic for me it's one of those little bar ones like the one that i just showed y'all with the black dress a minute ago but it just keeps wanting to twist and turn i do have another belt with the leopard print i will probably just switch it out with that because this one i think i'll be messing with it all day <laughs> it's such a vintage looking piece the cut of it is so beautiful the fit of it is perfect again very glad I went with a 4XL because I know it would have been too tight if I would have gone down at all. But y'all, the fit of this, that collar, just that pop of leopard print. Leopard and hunter green are beautiful together. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. That combination is perfect and it's very vintage. It's just a beautiful vintage color scheme and I think it's beautiful. And I paired it with those little black stacked heel shoes that I have shown y'all throughout this haul. I am just so happy with this. This makes me makes my heart happy because it's just gorgeous. So here is the front and the back. And that is all I have for y'all today in this haul. And a huge thank you to Shein for sending these pieces to me. I love working with y'all. And as you know, there will be a coupon code in the description box down below along with everything else that y'all need. And y'all, thank you so, so much for being here and spending this time with me. And I know that I haven't been uploading videos as often. Um, I changed positions at work, so my work days start a little bit earlier. I am now visual <laughs> for our department store and it's a four person team and I'm the only one on the team now so, <laughs> so they are working me but I'm going to try to find some balance I know that y'all have kind of rolled with everything with me so just be patient with me I'm going to try to get everything kind of on some kind of a schedule so I can get back into the groove of things so y'all again thank you so much for spending your time with me and until next time Y'all take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you soon. 